generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect where in the previous episode we made very good progress on the facility and got the very first cell block pretty much sorted. There's still some changes and additions to be made. For example, we might add some more stuff into the cells to increase the grading. We certainly need to add the metal detectors on the top and bottom of the canteen and speaking of the canteen, probably make some alterations in here which could include things like removing the serving table because we don't need two of them. Uh, certainly some phone booths wouldn't go amiss and maybe adding in some benches and tables but that can all be done in time. This episode is mainly focused on getting the prison sorted and fit for habitation so we need to finish off and when I say finish off pretty much start the kitchen the staff room put some more walls in maybe sort the yard out certainly need some psychologists things like that but so we'll see how far we get on but before we crack on into the building side of it let's go to escape extras and then to the mutators and I want to turn on the reduced dirt build up modifier so this is the speed that dirt and muck builds up around your prison is half it just makes it look a little bit better I did think about maybe putting in permanent day but it didn't really work in fact if we we're going to go for the lunar thing we'd probably go for permanent night it would make it look a bit better also there's been some suggestions for putting in extra stuff like no contraband limits which would be quite interesting because it means that when stuff's brought in it could be anything it could be machine guns it could be cakes with the rasp in it or or whatever and then go also for where is it it's probably in lightning the load there is one that oh, all reputations revealed was another one that people suggested there's a one i can't find it here it might be in this one uh, it's around somewhere basically it's it's the scanner it makes the scanner find absolutely everything so yeah no reputations fast working Contraband scanners. Metal detectors will detect all forms of contraband, but also use five times as much power. I'm not totally convinced about that yet. What we may do is go ahead and later on, once we've got prisoners in here, turn on that modifier as well as the extra one. But that means that basically we'll always detect everything because they will have to go through this by default. So... I don't know. I don't know if it adds to the challenge or not. But either way, we will crack on with that, let's say, reduced dirt build-up because it just makes it look a bit prettier. Right over to the kitchen and we will crack on over to objects and then to the cooker. We could have it built that way. But I think instead we're going to build it along there. We'll have a fridge just behind it. Two by two. And then the sinks. One, two, three. Now this isn't yet... This isn't yet heated so do i want a radiator in i know that's been pointed out as well that we've placed a lot of radiators yes we could have probably just done with one radiator right in the middle and it would emanate out but i thought putting it in the in the cells would look quite good and indeed i think it does let's go over to sprinkler and yes we are actually placing sprinklers at the very start of the building rather than waiting for it to start to burn down because that's something that we normally do let's just run that across and then down to I'm going to guesstimate there and I guesstimated correct that's fine so that'll be the kitchen pretty much sorted we do need to build this staff room as well so we'll have it set up so we've got objects and then to you got moose's head that can just go on the wall yes Yes, you can do that. We've got these uh, stands as well, which I'm going to put in there because I think they do look quite nice indeed. And, well, it just seems to be quite fitting it being in there. In terms of this area, we're going to have the drinks machines along this side. What else do we need? Sofa wide and drinks machines. So we're just going to put a wide sofa in here. And I like the idea of there being a wide sofa outside everybody's office like that. So if you've got like a, a meeting or something with this staff member that can just sit on the sofa while you know they're waiting for them or whatever. So that's all in. That's pretty good. And that is technically done. So we'll leave it there. That should be a staff room sorted. We then need to get five guards without assigned duties and that'll have that that'll have that grant done, which is ten grand. I don't know whether I want to do that right now. We'll see how we get on. What I am gonna do is go to bureaucracy and research dogs and then remote access and I might as well start researching armory and surveillance anyway because we're going to get that eventually. That's pretty much okay. We've also got tax relief. Takes advantage of government tax incentives and reduces your effective corporation tax just 15%. It'll save 15, uh, 1,500 taxes per 10 grand of daily profit. So it might be worth doing that. How many, oh, We're on 18 grand and 
we will not get cell block B and the criminally insane wing done, but we can get the staff well-being initiative, which then allows us to go for, I believe we have, yes, visitation rights is in there as well. You know what? I am going to start research tax relief. I know it's a big, big outlay at this stage, but I think it's worth it. And did I do that wrong? No, I did that correct. So why is the water pipe not working? I reckon... Oh. Well, that is a new one on me. Why does that not work? That's very strange. The water clearly is coming down. Going to there. Okay. It could have been... It could be an error with when these were getting placed. It's automatically put the other utility there and it's 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 glitched out let's just remove that utility and we'll see what happens there we'll speed up to max speed and let them crack on we've just got the staff well being initiative done so we'll see if that is sorted that now is obviously saying that there's without water so if we place in the small pipe hopefully that will fix the problem and then i'll have to place the electrical cable in and yes that has fixed it and that's now connected and that's all sorted. Yeah, all it probably was, essentially, was when we placed the water pipe and something to do with the something to do with the extra utility being added, because we, we get a free electrical cable there, right on the right hand side of the bridge. Oh, dirt build up. Uh, anyway, so that's sorted. So we need to get I think we'll hire five guards. So we'll go for one, two, three, four, five guards. That'll give us the ability to then go for visitation rights, which if we unpause it, you can see we have actually none of that done. I thought we'd get some of it, like the pool table, but no. So let's get this room sorted. So over to the foundation, more, and then we need to go for the wall, Nutani. Now the question is, do I want to build right across here? Because that'll be staff room and um, uh, dogs and that sort of thing. I'm not totally convinced but I think we might as well let's do that and we'll see how we get on so max speed out and we'll get that all built we'll have to do the similar thing down here this and this is visitation now yes it's overdoing the visitation but we are planning on expanding to the left quite considerably so that's why we've done that in terms of all of these rooms I did I did mark them out as being XYZ and you know we did point out what they were but they can always change so I'm not it wasn't totally set in it wasn't totally set in stone when we did that that should be now in and sorted that wall we will delete so we'll go to walls and doors demolish walls demolish that there and then we then need to go over to walls and doors wall Utani once again that will run up and across and then we'll place this in we need to have extra doors in we'll have a door there and then we'll have a visitor door there we'll also need to put in some more capacitors because as you can see that's running fairly hot now so those can go in the problem that we have is that essentially we need to get visitation rights done and we only have three grand to do it that's going to be a bit of a problem and when i say a bit of a problem i mean impossible with the funds that we have however we can always get let me remove that there to that's where contraband can be brought around you know what i don't really care i'm not going to put a metal detector on visitation they're always going to go through eventually this area so removing that there is i guess a weak point so do i really want to do that i'm questioning my own thought processes now Anyway, but that's a long road that we don't want to go down. Let's put in the... Where would it be? Visitor table. There was some suggestions to have booths in here instead. And... I actually don't mind the idea of that. That's actually not a bad plan. Let me check the size of it. 20. That would work. That would work. And it seems a bit better... Yes, that's what we're going to do. We're going to add those in. I'm just placing these because I have to place them. For this visitation right. Pool table, two TVs and phone booths. So, let's add this. This is all just going to be added in 
simply because I'm trying to get this grant done and I'll be changing this common room. Two TVs, yeah, no problem. Televisions. And then the phone booths, which, yeah, it's very difficult to see what you need when you're scrolling. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the visitation room is not yet done. Now it's done, there's the grant. Excellent. We'll also go over to... S hmm. Prisoner acclimatization engagement. Laundry, kitchen, cleaning cupboard. Well, we only have one of those. Let's go for security procedure certification because that will give us a bit more on the advance payment and we'll probably expand along there and go around. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Walls and doors. Utani again. Let's build this. This is going to have... What doors do we need? Well, it's normally only guards that go in here, so a standard jail door is acceptable. This one will be a staff door. It's fine. Is that one sorted? Visitation. We will dismantle each one of these. Oh. Dismantle, dismantle, and that's on dismantle in progress. That's fine. I think what we'll do is get some electrical cable in here. Actually have it powered up as well. That's fine. And we'll probably dismantle... Well, we certainly will dismantle what's currently in here, but I don't know whether we're going to get rid of that common room. Because this is the guard area, so security and kennel. That's another visitation. Then we've got you know, chapel and shop and library and cleaning cupboard and I think these ones we set out for parole. But I don't know if... There's a lot of stuff, a lot of unknowns here for me because I don't know if the criminals and prisoners act differently in terms of visitation or using any of these things. We're just building it as standard and then we'll see how we get on. If it needs to be changed, we can always change it. The fun is in finding out. So let's go ahead and add in the kennel here and... This is a perfect size for that. Objects, over to a dog crate. I believe, let's just place one in for now. I think, I'm pretty sure that's the right orientation. But we'll see. Just waiting for the, yeah, that's the right orientation. So let's just build a lot. Because then we don't have to touch this thing again. Dog ball will go in as well. Like that, and like that. Excellent. So that requires us to hire 10 guards and assign 3 guards to patrol routes. Well, I'm going to do that, but I will be firing some of these, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we need to get the patrol routes. So patrol routes. 1, 2, 3. Assign guards. 1, 2, 3. There you go. And we'll remove that. We don't need that. And we can also now get... Governmental security ratings, because we already have the ability to get half of that done. We also need to, I guess, well, we've got armour in the go. We certainly want body armour and tasers, but we have to remember that this is criminally insane. So there will be more orderlies than guards, most likely. Most likely, but we'll see how we get on there. While I'm over here, actually, let's get these metal detectors in. There, there, and in there. This will be another door as well, just for added security. Hadn't put it in because, well, we didn't need it at the time, but it's of some benefit to get it in now. That's sorted. I believe we have enough cookers, fridges, and other things in there. So, in terms of the rooms then, we'll get rid of that common room. We should really think about, well, we need uh, two dogs... Actually, it's assigned two dog handlers to patrols. One, two, and there's the dire wolves. <laughs> and what we're going to do is have them... We'll have orderlies patrolling in here. Probably one orderly per 
cell block assigned to it. And then around the outside, we will have our guards. Magenta patrol on the outside. Actually, no. Blue patrol on the outside. So around here, around each of these, like so, sign dogs. I'm going to sign both. Like that. Just for the grand at this stage. Armory. Bit of a bit of a difficult one this cause basically I don't plan on really having one. <laughs> okay. Well let's assume it's gonna be in the back here. We need two of these. A weapons rack. And you also need a table, but we'll have a table small. Which will go there. And assuming we're going to keep it, we're going to run that across, like so. And we'll have a solitary door. No, just a standard door would be fine. Realistically, it would have been safer, marginally safer, let's make that clear, to have the armory in here. It means the prisoners, if they ever break in, bear in mind that there's no access at all up until here at this stage. Depending on what these two are or become, there might be some access there. But, for the time being, there's only access here. They'll have to break through that, round this corner and then here. So if this was to the left slightly, we'd have a little bit more security. It's marginal and it's fairly, fairly trivial because if the prisoners are already bashing that door down, it doesn't really matter whether they're or there, you've already, you're basically going to save yourself about a second. So it matters not in reality. So we have the amount of guards that we need, more than, um, more than the guards that we need. I don't believe, actually I'm not too sure, who escorts the criminally insane prisoners whether it be the orderlies or the guards, we'll see what happens. I have a feeling that we will just get some orderlies and it'll be pretty much sorted. I'm just going to wait for that armory to be sorted. We're getting two more of those in there. Armed guards, we can see we've got a maximum of one. One, two, there's that sorted. We'll go to deployment, over to patrols, just place a patrol in there, and then armed guards, one, two, that's then assigned. We'll then remove those, remove the patrol routes, which I have to use the other tool for, and then we will sadly sack each one of these armed guards because we don't want them in here. In fact, I'll probably... Mm, I was going to say I'll, I'll, I'll remove the armory, but I don't think we need to. And what's happened there? Oh, yeah. We haven't placed that bit, but as soon as I did that section there, it connected all up. That's fine. Anyway, once again, we have now more options for our grants. Maxec infrastructure, prisoner acclimatization and engagement, reform through education initiative. We'll go for probably Maxec gives us a better advanced payment, but we got thirty four grand. Prisoner acclimatization and engagement, because it's not too difficult to do. Over to Foundations, and then to the Wall Nutani. We're going to place something in there, and something in there. This is going to be our psychologist office, and then um, we're going to place this down the bottom, which, once again, fairly big amount of money, but we're spending it, I believe, in the right place. And it means that we don't have to worry about placing one bit in, and then placing another in. Pretty much the walls. Putting the walls in and doing all that. It's just sort of pointless. So. Walls and doors. Standard door. This is the psychologist office. We will have the entrance to it. There. And there. I'm going to build one and I'll rotate it and flip it. That would be better. Let's check quick build actually. That's a psychiatrist's office there. Psychiatrist or psychologist? Psychiatrists. Okay. I actually like the layout of that. That's pretty good. We're going to go with that. So, we're going to pretty much copy what they have there. Which means... Well, we'll actually change it too. 
psychiatrist's office first. Office desk in that corner. Filing cabinet in that corner. Leather chair there. We then have a nice leather seat. Where the... Well, it'll be next to the... Next to the sofa. But where's the sofa going to go? I'm thinking that there and then the sofa... No, let's, let's build it exactly like they had it in... In there. And then all of the extra stuff will go down this side. Actually, that's... That's something I should think about. Because at this stage, we won't actually see what it'll be like. Because I want to see all the extra stuff, so I have it up the top there. So I'm actually going to probably build it a slightly different way. Like that. Building it the other way. So they come in. Around. Got your wide sofa there. And you got your leather chair there. And then all of the extra stuff that we get can go on that side. So your anatomy model, the flip chart... All of that sort of stuff will go in pretty nicely. Excellent. Okay, so we'll let them crack on with that. We can see that we have all of the foundations being built down the bottom here. We will, while they're working on that, have a quick look at our policy. We're going to change these up so we won't give them any solitary because we don't have any solitary for the time being. We will keep the milk quantity and variety as it is. We will alter this regime so we'll have free time all the way along and then we'll sort out what we normally do. So we'll have a shower time there. We'll have a do we have free time? No, we'll have a couple of hours of eat, then a couple of hours of free time and then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then your free time and then your eat at the end. And then that's pretty much it with a lock up in the middle there. Okay, that's pretty much sorted. In terms of electricity, we don't have anything in here and we actually don't have any lights. It did. We did have auto light on, so. Huh. Okay. Well, we'll put a light right above there. And because we're going to be cloning this, do I want to finish? Do I want to finish it and put the flooring in? I think I possibly do. What sort of flooring do we want to go with? Well, we've got the Luna, we've got the checkered floor. We've, we went with a sort of 70s brown uh, look for the previous one. Today's beverage is green tea, by the way. Maybe a blue carpet? Or do we want to stick with the the Sulaco? I think some variation is needed. I think that would be acceptable. Concrete tiles are going to go around the outside as the walkway. In fact, I might put them in there. It's a shame because we've got this lunar facility, but <laughs> it's very unlikely that we'll even see any of the the Martian surface because well it's actually only going to be the yard I believe that will have that so we've got build a wing cell block criminals in with 10 padded cells yes we know that's done we won't get those two until well we need more psychologists but we're gonna clone that and we'll rotate it around and do you want to flip it I believe it is flipped yes so good such a good thing that they introduced. The ability to rotate and flip clones. I tend to forget about it, but <laughs> it's uh, nice that it's in the game. So, we need to hire two psychologists. That's very easy. We can get that done. As soon as as soon as soon we get prisoners turn up, I'll just I'll hire them. Because there's no point in getting it for the time being. Because we'll just be paying wages that... Well, that we don't need to be paying. So there's that sorted. What else do we need to do? Well, we're not going to get the capacity and the acclimatization. We can get... There's three on that one, but we don't have the cleaning cupboard and other things. So, let us get... I think what we'll do is place all of the rooms so we know where we're at. And we'll, we'll make a decision on that now. So... This will run across. A lot of this will be changed up, so we'll have... We'll end up having the... Doors in. Just realised that I'm going to have to place loads and loads of lights, aren't I? Because this corridor... Because the auto light... 
won't be lit properly. So all I'm doing is just working my way across, placing in the lights where they should be. Still maintain there should be the auto light this room button. That will be very handy indeed. So, what's that? Oh, I was going to say it's it's cleaning. I thought the thought the planning wasn't removed, but it has been removed. Let's go flooring concrete tiles. Go across there and come down there Just because we can. That's the only reason for that. The entrances should always be like that. That's on that one. That's on that one. See, it's all pedantic, but there we are. And then the rest all place as we need to. Right, so this is going to be visitation. We then need all manner of things. So let's work out for our rooms. Well, we know the parole is probably going to be those two there. We've got this room here. Let's go for a classroom or a chapel. Classroom or a chapel? Chapel. Like so. Then this is a classroom, although it's a little large. It's not too much of a problem. Then... And we've got a bit of space here and there. I don't know. Library requires size of 5x5. Five five. So we can have that. We need a shop. Like so. Yep. And... <clears throat> excuse me, mail room. We're short of a mail room, aren't we? And we also don't have any recreational facilities, which is somewhat of an issue. I believe this is going to become laundry and cleaning cupboard anyway. Although, I don't really plan on having a cleaning cupboard, so... I might not bother with that one. No, I'm not going to have a cleaning cupboard. Decided. Not going to have a cleaning cupboard. We will build one for the purposes of grants. This prison acclimatization and engagement. Does the mail room want to be down here? It sort of would fit in around here, wouldn't it? See, a lot of the stuff will be coming around there and, out the, and around the back. This is where we'll have our staff only anywhere. Actually, vis visitor and staff only. So I might be best to change this up. Chapel's fine there. What I'll do is have... What's the sizing? 11. It's a bit strange. 11. Okay. And... Let's go up to rooms. Get rid of all that. So, classroom. Chapel, classroom. I then say... It would be nice to have a shop in there. Seven. That's fine. Mill room, I believe. Oh, actually. Shop. Then put a wall down there. It's very difficult to see. Is that the right size? I think it's the right size. It doesn't need to be massive, the shop. I mean, one could argue the same about the classroom and the chapel. The chapel probably is the right size. That's assuming we even need any of these rooms if it comes the, that the prisoners don't even use it. Well, well, we'll change it up. Back over to rooms then. So we want library, parole, mail room. Yeah. So library, minimum size of five, I believe. Five by five. That's five. Mail room, same thing. Five. Then parole is five. Then five. And I'll just put the walls in for now. One, two, three, and then four. And we have this room, which doesn't really have a purpose. What I'm missing out on? Something seems to be missing and I don't know what. That's the majority of what you need. And also leaves this free to be just one large common room. 
which I like the idea of. Although someone did suggest having common room there and there next to the visitation, which... Okay, I actually like that idea. Yeah, I do like that idea. But I'm not going to do it now because I've just spent five minutes doing this and to redo it all would be slightly aggravating. So we're going to leave it there for this episode. I will, between that episode, uh, this episode and the next, I will plan these rooms off. And then next episode, we will put in some of the basics and basically get prisoners right near the start of it. We'll obviously have to hire people, but that shouldn't be a big problem. Overall, quite happy with the progress. Got a lot of stuff planned out and done that I didn't think we'd do. Either way, next episode, we will get some criminally insane prisoners. To be exact, I think probably f just fill it up. Just get the total of 20. We then very quickly need to get probably a solitary up. But if we look after the prisoners treat them we do have the psychologist office we shouldn't have a lot of things going awry but you never know it is after all prison architect either way hope you have enjoyed the video and the series thus far comments in the comments thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings